What is up everyone, welcome back to another Sky High Aviation HD video, and today I am here to do another episode of how to get your FSX looking uh, more realistic than it is from its standard form. Um, so I know you guys have been enjoying the previous episodes, and this is another installment to it, showing you guys um, in this one how to get uh, detailed and cool looking water effects and different types of water for your flight sim. Uh, I know people who have been asking, um, this is like one of the main things that go out there, and this is how you do it. So if you guys haven't gone and checked out the previous videos of how to get your FSX looking more realistic than it is from its standard form, go and check them out right now. I highly recommend them, and you'll get yourself a, a nice setup of stuff. We've gone through aircraft scenery, uh, and we've gone through clouds and sun effects and all that good stuff, and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, get your water looking very uh, realistic. So let's hop into today's tutorial. Okay, so hop onto your internet browser, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, whatever you use, and basically search up uh, FS oh, Water Configurer, like that. Show me the top one, and you should go to this uh, right here, this website called Striking Software. Um, so once you're on here, you go down to the download section, and you'll see this up here at the top, FS Water Configurer version 3.15. Um, unless you're watching this video later on where the where it's increased, but if you have uh, watched this as soon as it comes out, then this is the one that you want right here. Click download, and it won't take too long to download. I'm not going to do it because I've already got it. Um, but yeah, click download, and once you've done that, we'll get on to installing it. And it's pretty simple, but I'll show you the presets for it. So as simple as that, as you can see, it, it's uh, once you download it, you'll get a little zip folder on your desktop or in your download section, wherever you've put it. Uh, you want to open this, and once you've done that, you'll see this FS uh, WC three one five. Click on it. This will be all the um, the readmes and the, the patches and the images of what it will look like if I can just show you one right here as one of the presets which looks really good and yeah so to run this you basically want to just open this application extract all it doesn't really matter we'll pop it on the desktop right there and once you've done it it will open this again like so and then you can open this preferably run as administrator so it uh, it runs nicely and you'll get this here Welcome to the setup of FS Water Configurator. You click next, you agree to these. Uh, you f it finds your directories, you can see it's detected, my flight simulator. You click next, and you want to install basically all these. You want to install the presets, and you want to install the missions. Um, it's not going to do anything, it's not going to change anything in your flight sim just as of yet. And it only takes up 7 megabytes, so it's okay. You click next once again. And uh, have a desktop shortcut and in, in a start menu shortcut, so it'll pop up down here. And you click next, and uh, there you go. It just tells you what you've selected. You click install, and it won't take long at all. It's already done like that. So you click finish, and then once you've done that, you should have this little application right here, and it's a FS Water Configurator. Uh, you can then run that as administrator, like so, and it'll load this up. First time setting it up, it'll ask for your language, which I'll just do that there. And it seems that this is the first time uh, if you haven't used this application before. And uh, do you want to read the documentation? I'm going to click no. So you get this right here. Uh, this is the default flight sim that you would have uh, already pop up. You want to click more, and this will just show you that you know this right here is where it'll be located. Now you have to do this, this is important, you want to click this right here, the set FS WC shader. Click it, and there you go, it'll be greyed out and you won't be able to do anything, now it's ready for use. Click done, like that. So up at the top here, this is where you've got all your presets. Um, you've got, the, the, these are the creator's favourite ones, so you've got Ashton's favourite setup. Uh, you've got black water, which is just a really dark water. You've got the default FSX. Uh, you've got the default one without the moon glow. Uh, you've got Eric's favorite setup. Glass water. This one is really cool if you want some nice lakes. But don't forget, this will um, this will run for your whole 
flight sim, so the the oceans and all that. Uh, you have extreme waves, which is pretty choppy. Uh, glass water, that is like a really good one. Uh, island calm and uh, island rough. I mainly, personally myself, use ocean rough for the majority of it. It's just the like the really good one. But when I'm ever doing night flights, um, what I always use is night water. Just because of the way it reflects off all the lights, and it does look really good. Um, so if you guys want to use this one, but I do recommend when you're uh, when you're using it, just Ocean Rough. Maybe if you don't like Ocean Rough, run through some of the other ones. But here you've got like the the mission waters, so it it does certain effects to each mission. So as you can see, it 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 just changes it, which is really cool. So yeah, there you go. That is a uh, FS Water Configurator. Once you've selected the one you want, you click apply and your setting has been applied. You can then close the application and you're ready to load up your flight sim and uh, enjoy the water effect. So there you go. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me if it helped you guys in the comment section down below. Don't forget to watch the previous ones I've done on aircraft, um, scenery, all that good stuff. And if you want to see anything... Um, Anything tutorial wise for your flight sim, anything that you're missing from it that you would like me to do, tell me in the comment section down below and I will definitely go ahead and do it. On the regards of flight simulator videos, um, someone did request a Air Berlin Dash 8 video. I will be doing that one as soon as possible, uh, maybe on the weekend, Saturday or Sunday, one of the two, probably Sunday, I'm not sure. Um, but just to let you guys know, he did say it's Berlin to Copenhagen. And I'm afraid I'm probably going to have to do it with default scenery. Don't be alarmed though, I have got an airport enhancer so it will make it look so much better than it is default. So it's it's alright. Um, just for that video though, I will be prepared in, f in future videos. But uh, until then, I'll just use the default. Hope you guys don't mind. But anyway, if you did like this video, as I said, don't forget to drop a comment and a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Peace out.